It dominated the news in the 90s. It was a huge story, and you're probably familiar with the story of Jonathan Schmitz, who was shot. Uh, he, he shot a man to death after that man revealed a crush on Schmitz during a taping of the Jenny Jones show. Schmitz has served his time and is just days from being released on parole. Now two key people in the case share their thoughts about that with our Jamie Edmonds. Well, we were traumatized, devastated. Our lives have never been the same. That is the voice of Scott Amador's brother, Frank Amador Jr. He did not want to speak in person because he tells us he still gets emotional talking about his younger brother's 1995 murder. Scott's killer, Jonathan Schmitz, is set to be released on parole next week after serving 22 years behind bars. This just brought it all right back up. It was called the Jenny Jones killing because the pair appeared on a never aired 1995 episode entitled Same Sex Secret Crushes. Amador revealed his feelings to Schmitz, but Schmitz says he wasn't gay. Three days later, Schmitz shot and killed Amador in his Lake Orion home, saying he did it because he was embarrassed on national TV. 22 years later, Frank Amador Jr. is still infuriated with the show's producers. Yeah. That sickens me. These people were criminals. They're just as guilty as Schmitz. Schmitz was found guilty of second-degree murder, but the show and its production company were not held responsible. The Michigan Court of Appeals overturned a $25 million wrongful death verdict. Jeffrey Figer was the Amador family's attorney. Jonathan was the victim of the manipulation caused by the Jenny Jones show. He was a powder keg. Of course, he did commit a murder. But to think that he was the only one is, is really not true. And Figer and Amador both in agreement calling Schmitz a victim. Now I asked Frank Amador Jr. what does he think about Schmitz leaving prison? Well, he doesn't quite know what to say. He wishes he could ask him his views on homosexuals, his views on his brother Scott who was taken at the age of 32. According to the Michigan Department of Corrections, Schmidt has a 24-month term of parole. Live in Detroit, Jamie Edmonds, Local 4. Doesn't seem that long ago. Jamie, thanks.